What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? Welcome you today to a Bleacher Report reaction video. Haven't done one of these in a minute and we're reacting to which NBA teams have the best young core right now. So the link to the article will be in the description below. And if you guys do enjoy these Bleacher Report articles and just be reacting to maybe ESPN or Bleacher Report or any other, uh, maybe The Athletic or any new sites like that, you can let me know down below and I'll continue to do these on the channel because I'm trying to find stuff that I want to do here. I have thought about maybe doing like a like a 2K simulation series, like something like where we would do like a season of video and we'd go through like 2050 and like, it would be kind of like a rebuild, but it'd be pretty fun and something that's just like more laid back and not like as much like um, editing and gameplay that I'm doing on my main channel. I'm just trying to find stuff to do on my second channel. But yeah, I'm just trying to throw whatever's at the wall, seeing what sticks here on the channel. So uh, yeah, well, I do want to see the criteria. So all of the players have to be under 25. Okay, there we go. Combination of talent, age, potential growth for the number of players in the court. So we can start this off. Number 10, the Indiana Pacers. Wait, it says 25, under 25. Um, so bonus is under 25. Yeah, he's 24. And they Miles Turner in Air Holiday. That's pretty good. That is. So, uh, honestly, Sabonis and Turner alone should give them a top 10 ranking. Um, and Aaron Holiday is, I don't think, is going to reach his potential as a starting point guard on a good team. But uh, I think as a good scoring guard off the bench. Now, I, I can't really say if this is too low or too high. I have to see the teams in front of them. And I don't, they didn't do any honorable mentions. So, uh, yeah, we got the Pacers here. We'll see who's in front of them. The Sixers. Okay, it's, I mean, Shake Maxi. yeah, I would say the Sixers definitely have a better young core because I would probably take Simmons over Sabonis, not by much, but I would take Simmons over Sabonis, and then I'd probably take Milton, Maxi, and Thibault, that trio, over Holiday and Turner, or be very close, so I can agree with having the Sixers in front of the Indiana Pacers. Next up, we have the Atlanta Hawks at eight. Kind of seems low, with Young, Collins, Hunter, Reddish, Herter, and Okungwu. That does seem low because they have a plethora of young players at all different positions. I don't know. Like, you have, what, three, five, six guys, and I think, like, four of them can be really good. Like, I don't know. I'm losing... I'm not losing... Um patience or just faith in Cam Reddish, but he really hasn't improved in the second year. But DeAndre Hunter has. John Collins is a great scorer. Um, and Trey Young's obviously one of the better players in the NBA. And then a Kung Wu, he was hurt. He hasn't played a lot this year. But okay, eight, we'll see who's in front of them. But I, I think I would have the y Hawks young core over the Pacers and the Sixers. And I don't really think that's a uh, question either. So next up at number seven, we have the Denver Nuggets with Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., Bull Bull, and RJ Hampton. I mean, nothing a lot at a bull bull, but how old is Zeke Naji? Is Zeke Naji not part of their young core? Really? How old is Zeke Naji? I thought he would be like 21, maybe. He is 20. Uh, you just didn't really want to put him there? Uh, I mean, okay. I mean, he hasn't played a lot this season. Uh, obviously, I get that, but still. Uh, you put him in there if you could put RJ Hampton in there. Yeah, I mean, Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. obviously are two of the best guys under 25, not like top five best, but two really good players under 25 years old. I would probably, because I'm taking Trae Young over Jamal Murray, and then I'm really taking these guys right here, these five players, over Porter Jr. and Bull Bull and RJ Hampton. Like, I would probably have, it would probably take Collins and Hunter and a Kung Wu to value that over Porter Jr., but yeah, I would take that, and then I would probably have Cam Reddish and Herter over Bull Bull and RJ Hampton. So I disagree. I would have the Hawks encore in front of the Nuggets. Next up, we have the Miami Heat with Bam, Hero, and Achua. Like, Bam really thrives for, see it's weird because bam really like is the main part of why they're high at six and i mean he, wait is duncan robinson 25 he might be because uh he went to michigan and he went to a, a different school before that i do want to see he is 26 okay i just wanted to uh, fact check that so i mean okay because like i would definitely have them in front of denver but like you could probably make an argument with them in near philly yeah um, and then I, I would say the Hawks is close as well because you can really, I guess you can make an argument who's a better player, Bam or Trey Young. I would probably take Bam. Yeah, but like I would take, if, like if you take up Bam and Trey, I would take a Kung Wu, Collins, DeAndre Hunter, and um, Cam Reddish and Herter probably over Hero and Acho. But I guess Hero has probably the most star potential out of any of those guys. So I'm not going to complain too much. I'm not going to complain too much there. Pelicans at five. They have Zion, Ingram, Lonzo, Naw, Lewis, and Hayes. I mean, with Zion and Ingram, yeah, they're going to be that high. Zion's 20, Ingram's 23. I'm surprised they were maybe a little bit higher, actually. So I'm intrigued to see who's in front of them. But I would have them over any of the teams we have mentioned so far. Memphis. Ooh. Memphis are like the Pelicans. That's 
That's interesting. Who has a better young core? I kind of want to like tweet that out, see what everybody thinks. Uh, because Ja versus Zion, or like, I mean, if you're taking the best players, you have Ja versus Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram's a better player. You have Zion versus Jaron Jackson Jr. I would probably take uh, Zion, but then I would take Brandon Clark over the third best guy here, which is probably Naw or Wanzo. And then, I mean, Bain, Melton, and Tillman, I think are fine players as well, especially I really like Bain and Melton. Uh, Tillman as well. Uh, but I don't know. I would... I would personally rank the Pelicans in front of them, but I think it's so close where I'm fine with them putting five and four. I, I think if I did it, I'd put the Pelicans at four um, and then the Grizzlies at five, but I'm not complaining because I think they're just really close in general. Where it's like close enough, like the margin is that close where it's like not that big of a deal. So, and so we got Booker, Aiden, Bridges, Johnson, and Jalen Smith. Jalen Smith has not been that good this year, right? I mean, like, I'm just going to look at his box score. So, honestly, I haven't seen a lot of Jalen Smith, which I'm kind of upset about because I was very excited to see what they were going to do with him. Um, yeah, he hasn't been really playing at all this year. I do want to see he's play-by-play. -play. So, he's playing a little bit of power forward. I, yeah, I would like to see maybe minutes him with uh, DeAndre Aiden. That's on me, though. But uh, Devin Booker and Aiden, obviously, it's worth keeping him up. Mikael Bridges is going to be the most improved combo. Defensive or all defensive team combo as well. We know Cam Johnson's shooting ability. And I don't know. <sighs> would you have them in front of the Pelicans? I think that's a, that's a fair case because like you're having Ingram versus Booker. Uh, I think Booker's a better player, but it's close. And then you have Aiden versus Zion. And then you have like Bridges and those three. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess I would probably take the Suns in front of the Pelicans. Yeah, I guess. Uh, next up, we have the Dallas Mavericks, uh, mainly because of Luka. Uh, then they have Jalen Brunson, Josh Green, and Tyler Terry. Tyler Terry hasn't done much this year. Uh, Josh Green, I honestly... Because I always get him, I don't know. I, I'm just going to pull up his stats right here. Yeah, I knew he didn't have a huge role this year either. But like, it's Luka. <laughs> that alone is going to keep you at number two. And like, who's number one? It's, I'm guessing it's Boston. Yeah, it's Boston with Tatum Brown. I mean, like, because those two guys right there is probably mainly why. But like, you could make an argument, I feel like, with... Z well, I mean, I guess like Tatum is the best player out of like the Pelicans top two and this top two. And then you would have... It's probably a debate between Brown and Ingram. I'd probably slightly have Ingram, but I could see why you would have Jalen Brown as well. So I'm cool with the boss in there. Like the Mavericks, like, I mean, this isn't really much to get excited about Brunson, Green, and Terry, but then when you have somebody who's a top seven player in the NBA at 21 years old, that is something to get excited about. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below on this um, ranking. I, so, I'm not upset the Knicks didn't make it. I don't know. I guess the Knicks really wouldn't have made it either way. Um, yeah, like the Knicks didn't make it. The Kings didn't make it. I'm just trying to think maybe like the Cavs young core with like a core with sex land didn't make it. Um, yeah, I guess that's really it. That was maybe left off there. I mean, it's Donovan Mitchell. How old is he? Is he younger than he's 24, right? Or is he 25? He might he's 24 still. So the Jazz didn't make it, but you really wouldn't have much from the Jazz. You'd have Donovan Mitchell, you'd have like a Duka, it's a Buki, and that's it. So yeah, maybe I digress with them. And then I mean, I just kind of want to pull up these teams to make sure, like, I mean, the Nets young core would have been interesting before the trade, but actually Dinwiddie might not have qualified. Um, yeah, I guess maybe the Bulls. Maybe some people want to give love to to like Levine, Mark and Kobe, um, Patrick Williams, the Hornets young core of Washington. Uh, Lamelo, Miles Bridges. Mm, I really wouldn't consider Detroit. I'm just trying to think who else you'd want to throw in there. Spurs have an interesting young core, but I wouldn't put it in the top ten. And yeah, uh, Minnesota because wait, with Cat and D'Lo, really? Cat's age? Oh my god, he is. Is he 25? Never mind. He's 25. Okay, yeah. If he was 24, still you'd probably make that deal. But yeah, that's good for me. Let me know what you guys agree with or disagree with down below. Drop a like if you did enjoy, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.